Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Captain Encrypted and we are back with more workers and resources. We got a lot to do today. So, I haven't skipped two maps. So, we're going forward with a lot of our research. We don't really need any of this, but I'll just do it to get it out of the way. It doesn't hurt. And we are researching bauxite purification. Which we're not going to delve into for a significant amount of time. Now... Our government loyalty has been skyrocketing, which I am very, very happy to see. So if we look at our stats, select government loyalty, and look this year, we have pretty much increased it from 34% to about 58, 60-ish. So I think it will cap around 70 without a television station, but that is perfectly okay. Here is what I want to work on today. So let's pause for a moment. I'm upgrading a lot of our roads into asphalt so we can have better transit. I'm taking down our small heating plan. I'm taking down our small incinerator and the two storages for it. The small heating pipes over here. One of them they already removed. Now they are doing the other. Oh no. It's getting there. They just need to clean this up. Actually make that a high priority just so you don't lose access to it. Because yes, that's a thing. So they're going to clean this up for me, which is fine. These will remain exactly as is. We're not going to do anything with this area for now. I'm destroying this road and those temporary roads here because I have different plans for them. Things here are working okay. We're still importing a lot of hazardous waste, which I will actually stop. Not because we don't... Well, we don't process it fast enough. So, I am going to give them a breather, and I will say all of you trucks will get a new stop in your queue, and you're gonna go rest there. Perfect. And from there we will be able to deal with a lot of that. We have been producing our own steel through the recycling. So let's see. Uh, this year, we have produced... Uh... 24 tons of steel. That's something. From 0 to nothing, well, from 0 to 24, is pretty decent. You will see the little spikes. Now we're starting to produce it a bit more consistently, but obviously no one near enough as having a mine. So there is that. We are about to hit the 8 year mark, and about the 10 year mark, I want to have a scrapyard ready. So that's one of the things I want to tackle today. And looking at our expenses, so for this year, we use about 36 tons of chemicals and they cost us about 50,000. I want to get rid of that cost, because chemicals are easy to make. And if we look here, and of course we can export the excess. Where are you, chemicals? They're probably right in front of me as usual. There you are. So... One of those can produce 0 0.8 per day. So if we need 36 for a year, roughly, well, let's say 40 for a year, we can very easily tackle that and get a bit of excess, even at like half capacity. What we need for it is gravel, wood, which we have an abundance of, crops, which we can buy. It doesn't use too much of them. Oil will be the tricky part. Low quality water, that's fine, and power, that's also workable. And this will produce uh, sewage, so it will need a direct sewage export. It will create mixed waste and hazardous waste, but at what rate? Uh, you create 1.3 tons a day, so you create a fair amount. And I think that's the building, excluding the workers. The workers have their own, they produce... Every worker produce 60, well, 0 0.60 kilograms of uh, mixed waste from, you know, them existing. I do not need the plastics factory for now, and that is good, because we are producing plastics through the recycling plant. And this is going well. How is our stuff here? So here we only have clean us, which cleans faster, which is exciting. It doesn't have power. I didn't realize that, but it doesn't matter because it doesn't need power. We're not going to pick this up anyway. Uh, 
We are also getting there, so we need to burn this stuff. But that's fine, we can always push it up to more workers when we need it. This is not full, so we are okay. Yeah, and most is burnable stuff. This is pretty good, it has a decent capacity. And how are we going over here? Yep, that still handles this very, very well. Now, the other thing I want to do. I terraformed this a little bit just so we can put our iron mine over here because all the iron was in the water. So I want to plan this just to get an idea of where things will sit. And same over here with coal. Because we are going to use this area for a second city. We're gonna need the second city very, very, very soon. And will make life significantly easier as well. More expensive, but also easier. And I'm thinking I will start my train line from here, so I will build this city infrastructure with the ability to connect to a train. Because iron will need to be connected to a train, so we can move things effectively. Coal will need to be connected to it. And I want to go through the map all the way over here to up this side on the NATO border, actually a little lower, here, because this is a nice big connection, so we can export a lot of things. And I'll make that my backbone, and from there I'll start connecting things back to the rail track. I haven't thought exactly how I want to do that, but that's grand planning for now. But before all that, we need to make sure our construction offices can get where they need to, to do their stuff. So, our constructions here can go 3 kilometers up. At the moment, if we see the rains... Do you have anything? Well, you don't have anything queued up, but... You can technically reach over here and pick those up. But I want to give them a shortcut. I want to build a bridge, our first bridge. And we're gonna go with a concrete build bridge. I don't have steel or bricks that are my own. I don't want to use wood because it's incredibly slow. And this is with prefab, which I don't have yet. So what we're going to do is, we're going to enable their grid. We're going to go across. Try to make a nice straight line. So I think... That looks okay. So this needs a lot of concrete, a little bit of gravel, and a lot of asphalt. The good thing is, we can produce all that, so it will cost us nothing. Let's see what this bridge looks like. Looks decent. And of course, always two paths. Are you looking okay, or are you looking weird? No, you're looking good. You're very close to the water. But I don't think that's a problem. It's not like we have floods. <laughs> can you imagine? This is flooding and takes the car into the ocean, like, goodbye car! Okay, so, we get over here. So that's step one. These will need to somehow connect to this road and this roundabout up here, and our industry. So, if we go with the gravel road for our planning, and say, I want you to connect here, and I want you to connect here. Uh, they look horrible. So take that away. Let's give them a little roundabout, because, you know, roundabouts. So let's do something like that. Let's cut this down a bit. Now, you, I want you to go this way. So go up. Go here. Ah, uh, you have the node, okay. So let's make you go here. You could go straight, but I actually don't want you to go completely straight. I want you to have a little bit of an angle this way. Good. And from here... Let me use my large pillars as a guide. Why can I not connect you? Game? Game, are you being weird? Okay, well, cancel this. I 
Thanks for the save. So you go down about this way. Yep. And this is more as a guide. I'm not going to use this. I'll probably have a transformer much earlier. So let's say here. But if I do use it. Because I haven't really planned for something to replace this power. Yes, I bring this over here. Oh no, I have the transformer. No, I have planned for that. Okay, so that's not necessary. But we can have it here and see how we can branch off. I might need to branch off the other way. Do I not have another connection here? Game, are you glitching? Yeah, I cannot see the connections. Huh. Well, let's quickly do a save. And reload the game. Because that's bizarre. Nope, we still cannot see it. Huh. Well... That's interesting. If I try to put a new one down, can I see it? Yes. Okay. So when I select it, I can see it. But when I'm trying to get a connection to it, I cannot see it. That's such a weird bug. Very, very weird. If I choose another poll? Nope. Okay. Well. There goes that. Now here... If we have a quick look... No, I don't want to queue them yet. So my iron is on this spot. And for iron, you're here. Iron mine. I want to get the highest yield. I don't think I will do two mines. I think one is plenty. So let's do 61. That's the highest. So let's give you that connection right here. So, do I want to take the iron away on its own, or do I want to convert it into, well, the iron ore away, or do I want to take the iron? It will be easier to take the iron, because it only needs 15 people. Well, this needs 250. Um, pollution is not really a problem in this particular case, because you do create some. Uh, our city is actually very close. Let's measure things. So... Let's say you are here to here, 800. Uh, this will be cutting it a little close. What about this one? This must be much farther, right? Yeah, that one is much farther. Uh, should be fine. Famous last words. So we're doing that. We are getting... Processing plan. So how much you can produce 1,000 tons a day. That's a lot. So 1,000 tons a day. You can consume 225 at maximum production. So one-fourth. I can even run the mine at a lower capacity. Why does this sound low? 200 tons of steel. Wow. Well, so... What they produce is an aggregate, so you do want to connect it as an aggregate. Otherwise, it won't work. Uh, this is an export, so I need one of the inputs to go here. Turn this way so I can have the worker path. So let's say you go right about here. Yes. 
And from here, I will need to be able to collect this aggregate with a train and go away. So, do any of the new aggregates have a train connection? I don't think they do. So you have a capacity of 5,000, 2,000, 2,500. Ah, you're nice and square. You're long. I don't need long. I, can't, I need kind of bulky. So... They will need to connect somewhere over here. And from here to a train station. You don't need people, which is fine. So I can very comfortably squeeze you on this spot. Something like that. What's the internal storage of the iron processing plant? 25 tons. Okay, so I do need an intermediate storage between the two. Because this will bottleneck the production. So, cancel this. Cancel this. Here I should probably go somewhat big. Yeah, because both will be able to feed from this. So... If I do it this way... I still need the road. So let's say something like that. Why did you not build the... Uh, the connection. Okay, you lie to me. Let's try to put down the ore processing plant first. So it will need to feed from back here. So I need something in between them. And then for the people to reach, so something like this. And from here, aggregate storage. Probably the long one might be the solution, I think. You are shorter and your capacity is a thousand, which is how much you can produce in a day. So that's not too bad. Okay, so that will be your import. Turn this around. I think something like that will do. And it seems to sort of align with the roads. And from here, I want to be able to pick this up into another storage. How am I going to get the road out of here is the question. I'll need to terraform more. So I can get the iron out of the way. So you go there. Cancel this connection because we do not need it. Terraform. Hide from center. Come on. My three little bulldozers. You can do it. Slow and steady. Usually when you have such a sharp edge, it's better to elevate the terrain, but I don't have any excavators free, so I'm using my bulldozers. Excavators help to raise and deep terrain, while bulldozers are better at spreading the soil around. Okay, so, uh, you are in and out, right? Yeah, you are both directions, so let's take you somewhere here. And mm, that's actually pretty decent. You need a road this side. 
I need you to be this connection and I will need to bring people somewhere in the middle so the bus stop will be in the middle and you can be connected right here I will not use any trucks to pick this up but still so that's that and I do not need another connection from this so that is fine I'm looking to bring about 250 people here, so buses are okay. Technically, we could do it without buses, but I will play with buses because I find it safer in this case. So, let me make a secondary line, which will connect here, so there is a little bypass to get into the train station. I mean, a bus stop. So, they can walk there even with regular roads. I do not need to make footpaths. Let's continue with this. So, you were meant to go this way. Continue down this path. Continue and turn. Let's give you a nice curve. Uh, you have to go down about here. Don't like that node. Go away. That's somewhat nice. So you can go here. From here, I want you to connect on this. Trim this down a little bit. Yeah, I can live with that. And you can connect right here. Okay, I don't hate it. And now I need the connection into this. I want to make it two directions. So go here. Go here. So we have a little bit of a triangle. Depending on what angle they want to take. So that works. Of course, everything needs to be gravel. And let's commit to all of the construction for this, for the roads. Then we will need power, but we're not... Actually, we might do it now as well. So for power, hold on with unemployment too high. This one should be plenty for these guys. So let me squeeze it on the same node here. And I will need a transformer for this and whatever else I squeeze here, because I'll probably... Now oh, you show me the connections again. You're being weird, game. You're being really weird. Okay. Uh, yeah, and that one is not connected now, is it? No, it's not. Huh? Wait, did I put the wrong... The reason it doesn't show me, it's because I put a medium one. Well, that's a thing. Let's fix that again. High voltage. That's better. So you go right here. Yep, now that works. Oh well, at least we found out what was the problem. So if I squeeze you here, I only want the back connection. So you can go here. I will give you these, so you get this connection, and this one will be free for whatever else I need. Yes, and from here we're gonna get a full wire to work with this. And that actually looks nice. Uh, I'm gonna take this back one. Okay. That's that. This will need water and sewage as well for workers. There is no output for the building itself. So let's get a water substation for our people here. Um, where do I need you? If I put it here, it will create a node, which is fine. So let's move it away. So something like here. Actually, let's make a footpath. So, you can have this footpath. You can go this way. And from here, I can connect them directly. That way I create only one node for everything. So, you go here. 
you go here. Now, we need garbage collection. So, the big ones would be this. If I squeeze you on this spot, can I squeeze you on this spot? Why am I not? Ah, because you don't produce anything, but you do. This might be a tad too big to squeeze here. Do I want to have one and one? That sounds like an overkill. So, if I give you your own... Yeah, because I cannot do both. I don't have a common road that is long enough for both. But you use the footpath, interestingly enough. Yeah, but this is not 125 by any means. And this doesn't even connect to it. Yeah, you don't even hit the one. It's not because of this node, that's for sure. Strains. What if I... The tunnel will cost me a lot more. It's not necessary. No, you know what? Just do this. There you go. Take a big one. It doesn't cost a lot of till and I have everything else. I can even make the prefabs now. Well, we can. We haven't yet, but we can. So you can go... If I squeeze you right back here... And I make connect to this node. Come on. Work with me. You can do it, game. You know you want to. Go there. Whoop. Go there and give me a connection on this node. Come on. Okay. You go away, the node went away, you will connect here, and you will connect here. It shouldn't affect my footpath. Nope, we're still good, we're still good. Okay, take all the roads. That is done, for now. Now, coal. Let's plan for coal. Actually, no, I need one more thing here. I need the train line. So, train, 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 train. We need a cargo station. We don't need something big, we need something small. Because it will only load from here. Yeah, you are massive, you... You're long, but not too bad. You're small and accessible. I kind of like that. But you don't have an aggregate connection. I need an aggregate one. Um, Aggregate. Train aggregate loading. So we have this, which is the classic. Ooh, I like this one. This one is tiny. That's huge. And you are even bigger. So can I use the tiny one? 40 tons of steel, 100 tons of steel. Yeah, you're going to cost a lot. And I'll just need to make sure that my line is long enough. So if I turn you around, I only want you to connect on this one because you're only con picking up the call from here. This will be a terminal station. So let's keep you somewhere around here. Cancel this connection because we don't need it. I do need a road, so let me give you some space and connect you this way. And do you get power? You should be, it's within 250. Yes, you do. Okay. So from here, uh, I cannot build electrified rail yet. Well, I can, but I don't have the electronics, so that will be... Fun little challenge. So go up. Okay, that's long enough for the train that I'm gonna bring here. And then this will have to go parallel to this road. 
Or do I want to go from the outside? Do I want to go above? So there will be no road here, so there will be no interruption. So it's better to cut this off and go out. Okay? So, temporarily before I build you, let's put you somewhere here. Just so I can have a rough idea of what I want to do with you. Uh, I don't need you too close, so... You go here, you go there. Connect here, and you connect right here. It's always a good uh, idea to remove the nodes. Obviously, this will need some fuel in between as well. But that is okay. So, you will go here, you will load, we will fix the signals, you go around, and you will continue. Going this way, and this way. Not the straightest, but that's fine. So I will want them to connect somewhere here, I think. And from here, they will need a nice curve to go this way. And this way. And that's my train connection for this. The city train connection will come up from here somewhere and probably go over the road and connect. But we shall see. What are you doing? What are you building? You're still working on the roads. That is fine. And they are very wobbly. <laughs> coal. Okay, let's do coal. So, and I will need a lot of coal because I want to make bricks as well. I'm trying to cut all of the easy expenses. So you have a 60% here. Is that all I have? That is all I have. Okay. That makes life easy. So let's squeeze you right here. You produce in a day 800 and something. So close to 900 tons ish. You have pollution, which is not fun. Wrong building. Okay, so you will need a buffer as well. But if I put you over here, I should be able to do the same thing with the workers. So I'm thinking most of my people will be between this and this. So from here So from here to here is one kilometer, so that's safe. And if I follow kind of the same principle here, so no people before this line, could work as well. Maybe. We shall see. Okay, so, need a buffer again. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Let's do the 2001 because actually I will need the 2001 for your export. So you will connect over here. Cancel this. And give me a nice little small aggregate for in between. So something like this, until this little line. So you produce coal, you take it to your storage, it gets processed, well, you create coal ore. Then you take the coal ore and you turn it into coal that goes here. From here, there is a few things I need to do with coal. So, one, I need to be able to pick it up. Two, I need to be able to turn it into bricks. Which will be... 
Brick Factory. So, it's probably worth squeezing this here. Game. Hello. Give me a connection. Is it too high? So let's say you go around here. No, that works. You go there. Let's get the road going somewhat straight between those two. So you go there and you go there so I can put the garbage in between them. I don't think I can go under the road. Oh, I can. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, so you can do this. Maybe. I don't know what else I'm going to put here. Now, for the train. So this is an aggregate again, so I need another aggregate train loader. And I can do the small one again. And I'll probably do it on this side. Because I don't mind if I interrupt this road. This is literally just a service road. And... Yeah, you won't be able to pick up the bricks. You will need another one, but that's fine. Because they can both merge into the same track. Okay, so let's put you here. Yes. I think that's fine. So you will need to be about 160-ish. 170, that's fine. Gives me room for the signals and other junctions. I will need another cargo train to pick these. But bricks will need their own storage and from there I'm going to pick them up. And you have your own train connection, which is even better. So, can I squeeze you here? This way. Let's get the road connected to this. Make it a bit sharper. Something like that. And that should allow me to get the train track out. Okay, so you get your train track out as well. Um, how long is this? Uh, 120 something. And then with a the curve, it should be better. Okay, so let's go a little farther away. And then turn up. Same idea, you can merge on this, you can go here, next to it, and continue as a second path. Yeah, because this is the branching, so this will be a two-way in. Okay. Yep. Three, you're blocking my node. Now, you can continue... Up this way. And I make you curve properly. No. Game says no. You go this way. Let's say you go this way, and you connect this way. And our friends keep going straight. So I want you to not have a direction, go there, and this would become a T intersection. So, 180... Five. That's a good distance. 185. That looks horrible. Uh, crossing not allowed. Why? Because the actual crossing is on this spot. So... That is a decent... Intersection, so nothing should get stuck on these, I would hope. Okay, now, roads. 
you two will need to be connected and you will need your own bus station as usual. So let's quiz you this way. Well, you don't have garbage collection, so there is no point. You can go there and you can go... I actually like that. That actually looks good. And for garbage, I can put one of the big road ones... Will a cross take care of both, both? No, not even close. Why? Why is your range so low? So you have stuff. You create problems. And this will cover those two, but... Wait, you're the processing... Yes, okay. So having that here is fine. Actually... Yes, they should be able to reach. Let's give this one its own. Let's give you water for your people. Uh, is it worth making it again with the path? Probably. So if I connect you here. So you go this way. I don't want to create more nodes for this. But I can create a node here. I can get my bus stop to be... I think this distance is okay. So let's do this. Yes, I want you to be able to go here and turn left to go into this, and then go here. Can people reach? People can reach everything I care for. Good. And people should be able to build this because of the road. You could make it shorter, but there's no point. It doesn't help any in any way. If anything makes building this more tricky. So let's put the water substation right about here, and let's put the sewage tank right about oh, here. Okay, so we have all that as well. Very good. Let's connect you to the highway. So you have a path there, you have another path there. So let's assume I can continue my power this way, right? Or up. Or do I have my connection? Up. But it doesn't matter because it can literally go here. So let's say I'm gonna place you here. And let's say you go this way. And you go this way. And you can go from there, and you can go from there. Not the prettiest, not the ugliest. So that can continue that way. You, as a straight line, go here. Ideally, I wanted to cross this, but the pillar is in the way. Because this will be one direction. Can I get one out of here? Yes, I can. And here I can make my little junction. So they can go across. So they can go in and out. That should balance its traffic a little bit. And you will continue up this way. I do not know what I'm going to do with you, but that's fine. Now, power. Though this machinery will need a fair bit of power. So let's say you go right here. Let's use the same node as much as we can. So, that's one. And are you actually covering everything? 
you actually cover almost everything. It's okay. I do need. I do want to have a bit of a load balancer right here. So there is that. And here I'm gonna need another transformer, which I can utilize this to go into the transformer. Actually, I don't want to. I want to take. I want to be able to connect a power factory on this. So. Is it worth building our factory here as well? So it can power all of this. Where are you? So, coal power plant. Because we will have the coal, right? And this is the best place to load it as well. So, road will be there. If I squeeze you there... Can I get a road underneath? Too low. I can always put an engine there, conveyor belt, but I do not particularly want to. Because I want to be able to bring the people. But do I want to share the people of this with this? No, I actually don't. So take that away. Go back on power. And you produces a lot of pollution, so I better put you far away. So you're gonna feed into this, you're gonna have this little thing here. Really? I got no excavators? Actually, I think you're too far from my construction office, that's why. And you will power all of those as well if I put you here. Is there any way I can make you green? Without terraforming, probably. Yes. So, you will have your own building, so I don't really need to put a bus stop here, because people will go directly here. And I don't want them to spill on other places either. And you will give me two high voltage wires that I can utilize. Because you produce 23 megawatts. Cool. Oh, so you can go right here. Directly. That way I can sell power and distribute it as well. That's that. This I will reserve for later use. And I have some small ones too, right? Yes, I do. So all my little satellites here will pick power from this. But when this is not running, they need power. So, where can I get power from you? So, my city will need power through a transformer. It will go through the same transformer. Okay, so let's say you connect right there for now. And you go this way, and this way, and this way. Yeah, stay there and there. That's not bad. That is somewhat okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with this area, but we will figure it out. We have the road connection. We will be able to bring people, and it's not too far. Now, what else do we want to do? I want... So I'm getting a high voltage thing here, so this can be comfortably where my transformer goes. What I'm thinking is, I want to connect this roundabout with this and utilize this upper area, since they will have pollution and stuff, for basic uh, city stuff, like services. So let's say you go somewhere this way. Let's get power going here. Here. And you go right next to it, so something... Let me give you a bit more space to be safe. You connect... Come on.
That feels a bit too tight. And probably is. Yeah, that will fit. As long as I don't have to remove it later, we should be okay. Yeah, this is going too wide. Okay, so let's reel it in a little bit. So if I go, I will be too close. Let's do it this way and this way. Can I actually change you? be nice if you could give me a nice line on your own but i don't think that will happen uh yeah i don't hate this and then we need to connect you on these spots this would be the nicest spot for you to connect but that would be wishful thinking so let's make more nodes as much as i don't want to you can go this way So we're driving on the right side. You go in, you have to go around to turn here. Yeah, that's okay. And so my transformer can be pretty much right here. And you connect on this spot. And from here I can take the two power bits to go there. Um we will see which ones we're going to take. Okay, we've done a fair bit of planning. And I think we will wrap this one up here. Is there anything else quick I want to do? I do want to see how I'm going to bring people in here with my train station. Yeah, let's have a very quick look at one last thing. I want to take this train line from here, and I want to go to the border, here, can you give me any indication of a path? No, too far. So if I look at terrain, I have a mountain in the middle, so let's say I continue straight, and I go more straight. And then curve this way, around the mountain. And then go up this way. And from here... Wrong side, this side. You still cannot go... Uh, probably it's cutting it up because it's too far, so you go this way. You go straight again. Yeah, 3000 is the maximum you can do at a chunk at a time. So go this way and from here. And from here, you can go on this spot. And you can come back all the way. Underwater. What are you talking about? Okay, we have to do it the slow way. It doesn't like any sort of adjustment to the curve, that's why. Okay, you go there and you go there. So at least we have an idea of where we want it to go. We'll probably change it and move it around a bit, but that's the general gist of it. So you're gonna go all the way here, so you can do your exports. Also, do you have anything fun for me? You do have some stuff, but I got no money. So I should not get carried away. But this is where we're gonna wrap this one up. Thanks everyone very much for watching. Don't forget to drop a comment, like, subscribe, you know, all the fun things. If you have any suggestions or ideas about the second city we're going to build, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye-bye.